old people, young people. How do they really feel about each other? T3 News reports. Normally, when young people talk about the elderly, it sounds something like Skum High Senior Nikki Woolery. I love all the old people in this community. I think all you elderly people are fantastic. But how do the youth really feel about seniors? Let's see if James Root, a Skum High Senior, feels any differently. What annoys you about old people? <sighs> how much time do you have? <laughs> okay, that's more like it. Everyone loves a little bit of controversy. But what specifically is it that causes the young to not like the elderly? Old people, some of them are really awesome. But uh, a lot of them, I mean the majority of them will meet, are just really, really terrible. <laughs> Maybe it's because they just, the terrible ones are more vocal, but the majority of the ones I deal with in daily life. If young people do indeed dislike the elderly, they've got a lot to dislike because there are a lot of senior citizens here. For example, this graph is compiled from data straight from the 2010 U.S. Census. It shows how different age groups make up the total population. It has shown us a bar graph peaking at 50 to 54 years old and decreasing rapidly as it approaches 85 years or older. This looks like a reasonable curve as it represents the entire state of Washington, making for normal looking data. However, the curve for Squim is far different because Squim is an outlier and makes the graph almost the opposite. The graph here shows Squim and Washington age percentages side by side. Notice how the Squim graph actually increases as the age groups get older and older, but what really stands out is that 40% of the Squim population is over the age of 65, whereas the state of Washington only has 12.3% over 65. That's more than three times as much. And if that isn't enough, the largest age group in Squim, 85 years and older, with 11% of the total population. I mean, isn't that kind of ridiculous? So yes, Squim is indeed incredibly old. Whatever the case is, the elderly that we talked to didn't really seem to mind our generation at all. They're very energetic, they're very thoughtful, they're essentially very happy, and they tend to want to do everything right now. And Sherry O'Neill, a Squim senior citizen, feels the same way. I think young people are great. When I see their cheer and happiness, it makes me feel all of it again. It was surprising how much these two like Squim's youth and seem to have nothing but good things to say. However, respect is not a two-way street. Speaking of streets, how do Squim's youth feel about elderly drivers? Do young people drive too fast or do old people drive too slow? Old people drive too slow. I don't even think about that. Uh, I was a little late today because I was behind uh, some guy going 25 and 40. It's just being cautious. No? No. <laughs> But Mrs. Crowley feels a little bit differently. I think everybody doesn't drive very well. I don't think it makes any difference how old or young you are. This made me realize something. Spiteful opinions that the young people have about the old are wrong. Their opinions are wrong, and that's just a fact. The reality is that stereotypes are never really true, and they are always going to be terrible people. But what is the root cause of these terrible people who make a bad name for themselves and people like them? Like, you can't spank kids anymore, so now we live in a generation of unspanked bottoms. Yep, that's definitely it. All of these responses answered a lot of questions that I had, but failed to answer one. When exactly does a person become old? 90. Okay, why is that? It's because when I, the younger I was, the, the, I, I used to think 40 was ancient, but now, as I'm kind of inching up myself, it goes further and further, because I don't consider myself old. Perhaps the age gap between the young and the old makes it difficult for them to understand each other, but I feel that open minds can lead to achieving this understanding. 
despite their differences, there is one thing that both the old and the young can easily agree on. Uh, I say young people wear their pants too low. I think the less underwear we see, the world better. I'll tell you, the, the, the pants, where you can see that much of their shorts, and then the pants are hanging down about to their knees, the crotch, bad luck. Plus one on the young people. <laughs>